So this is roadmap of PRPC course learning process. Roadmap of PRPC course learning process. I'm going to explain all of you now. Okay. And here, let me open the course content. Okay. I can open the course content and I have already shared you. See, it has so many topics as a learner or as a fresher to Pega. Even if you open the course content, you cannot understand anything. What is the best thing that you can do is you search or you inquire with three or four trainers. You try to compare the course content. So whichever you feel better, maybe you prefer to go with them. Usually that happens to everyone. But technically you are not aware of what is there. And let me tell you here. See every technical topic that we are going to discuss during our training program. You are regularly experiencing these technical aspects in your day to day life while you are accessing so many business applications. For example, in your day to day life, you might be you might be using the applications like uh, travel ticket booking and you might be using the applications like uh, money transfer net banking applications and you are well aware of these applications, social media applications. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and some advertising platforms you might be using. See, in your day to day life, you might be using so many different types of applications in your day to day life, right? The functionalities, what you are coming across there, okay, those functionalities might have been implemented using some programming languages that may be PHP, that may be Java, that may be .NET C Sharp and ui technologies and database technologies like this okay so anything it can be anything see though there are so many technologies available in the market these technologies ultimate goal with respect to application development i'm talking about java c sharp dot net are ui technologies in combination with business logic and database and php in combination with ui and database and pega salesforce these are application development specific tools or technologies ultimate goal and ultimate uh, things uh, goal is same mostly okay but it provides bpm that provides crm other programming languages may be doing anything see the functionalities that you see in one application you may develop by use of one technology developed by one technology you may develop or you may try to develop the same using other programming languages which you are learning you don't need to wait for someone to give you business requirements as a learner Okay, you are a learner. You wanted to learn some business requirements which are being developed enterprise level. You go to YouTube application, YouTube Studio. There are so many functionalities. Left navigation menu is there. You click on left navigation menu of analytics. You display the analytics. That is the concept of reporting. That is the concept of reporting. You display like a chart structure or you display like a uh, table structure. It is a reporting feature. Suppose if you are going to learn the topic of reporting here with one business requirement that we implement to fit in our business application, what we are going to develop. Do you need to wait for anyone else to give you business requirement to work on reporting other business requirements? No, you don't need to wait because you come across this type of business implementations that you see in your day to day life in many different applications. You go to your phone pay application or Google pay application and click on transaction history. It will display all the transactions that you have done sent and received. Right. That is a report again a report from the existing data. It is being displayed. What is the amount of uh, that is being sent out and the amount that is being received for each individual transaction report data is being displayed. So my point about saying this is anyone who is learning here you are going to gain best knowledge delivered here by the trainer that is okay and you will be given with one business requirement being explained theoretically technically practically and you work on the same business requirement that is a copy paste work that is practical i'm talking about learning theory and all that's okay technical is okay but the practical which you are going to do not only here in your college you learn c language right the programs that you are going to write 
the programs that are being taught by your lecturers the programs that are there in the textbooks have you ever tried creating your own program by yourself imagining some business requirement solving some problem which you encountered in your day to day life even if you learn a c programming language and you get 99 percentage of marks or 100 percentage of marks out of 100 you are not a skilled person technically unless you create your own programs introduced use utilizing your own skill and with your own imagination finding out the problems and solving those problems by writing your own programmings with the knowledge that you have gained from your textbooks or trainers whoever it is unless we cannot say you are a skilled skilled person okay so just whatever your master is going to teach you if you are going to replicate the same work that is just a copy paste work okay you you are going to be skillful when you try by yourself without someone guiding you or helping you then you are going to be a skilled resource skilled worker okay how do you get that that is you are going to get by more practice and research so these are most important for any learner practice and research should be there see i am going to teach you one requirement here on one technical aspect further for the practice purpose i'll give you one more application to develop that is also okay but how do you get other business requirements which are implemented for enterprise level is youtube application an enterprise application or not phone pay google pay net banking applications are enterprise applications or not and you log into your net banking application you find multiple tabs okay first tab accounts okay the program that you are going to like that you are going to see there implemented in your net banking application tab one is accounts and tab two is maybe funds transfer and tab three it may be cards okay tab four may be insurance tab five may be loans how do you develop tab one two three and all i'm going to teach you how to design user interface here the same development of displaying like tabs is also possible in pega is also possible in dotnet asp is also possible in java jsp is also possible by using any other ui technologies but your trainer did not teach you let's say trainer has given you core level of knowledge you need you can you can research by yourself and whatever you see in your day to day life research in the system and try to find out the components which are available and utilize it and then you practice to get the same output result that is what learning understand so that is where you get motivated by yourself day by day okay as you are achieving uh, new results that too by your own research and a passion towards what you are learning is going to get built every day and you are definitely going to uh, like the system that you are learning or the subject that you are learning so only through the way of research and development okay one can uh, achieve successful results while they are learning any programming languages or, or while they are learning any tools not this is not only related to software anywhere wherever you are in any engineering it may be hardware engineering it may be system engineering it may be any other sector of any work or any task in this world if you are doing as it is what you have learned that means you are not a skillful worker you will be a skillful worker only when you are going to apply your knowledge okay in a new ways by finding your own techniques okay that you may not get ideas immediately when you start as a new learner you will be getting ideas going forward as you do more research one should be available at the classroom by eight o'clock sharp okay so late that the rawad don't come into class after eight o'clock okay this is very strict and this disturbs the class okay and even online also after eight o'clock you don't join even the facility is there and i'm sorry that is what nine o'clock whatever your time nine o'clock i'm sorry okay 
and that is what about the research so your mindset while you are learning here or anywhere else wherever you are learning whether pega or java or dot net sales force anything your mindset should be like a researcher okay who will be awarded the highest grade awards in this world mostly you find them as something they do it by their own creativity okay the writers the poets and the researchers scientists these are the people who will be given with something whatever that they are going to do that is uh, going to give this world something new okay so your mindset as a student here whether you are a fresher or experienced or no matter you should think like a researcher okay and whatever we are teaching here you learn it no problem that is just a way or a path to understand the subject and to apply in one model but what about other models okay that you need to come up with your own skill okay your own imagination okay if you are a civil engineer you are going to learn how to construct a building with model one that is what your master has taught you wherever you go everywhere are you going to construct the same model people will not be interested you need to come up with come out with your new designs and following the fundamentals you should not violate the fundamentals of the subject you have to stick to the fundamentals of the subject and then come up with new designs as long as you are going to come up with new designs then that is going to make you number one in the respect to field whoever is going to give the best designs you are obviously going to choose them how do they get the designs that is what creativity okay simply it will not be coming that is what called as creativity so you need that creative thinking and a research mind while you are learning any subject you do research every day those resources who are learning here who are already working in it industry maybe in testing or development or support you already have the application accessibility your applications currently might have been developed in java dot net or any other technologies what you are seeing in regularly in your applications try to implement the same by using pega what you are learning here and the other resources you don't need to worry about this i don't have any enterprise application development and all you go to youtube you go to net banking you go to phone pay go to google pay and go to paytm application go to travel ticket booking cinema ticket regularly or accessing i know that applications right what functionalities you come across there you access it and you try to implement by using pega try it first of all in this try you do a research of finding the components that are available and you google it you don't need to ask me you, if you are asking me i'll tell you it is there and that is not research remember you google it this type of functionality i'm expecting how can i implement okay then you if you're going to spend time like this the moment when you get the result okay you do not uh, even have to your lunch or dinner it will be fulfilled automatically okay so day by day passion gets built you love the subject and you find it is very easy to learn okay this research is what i am expecting from the resources mainly who are unemployed plus pressures and employed resources you also have to do based on your time that permits try to do your level best and now coming to the content that we are going to discuss about okay so the technical aspects that we are going to cover here all the te technical aspects are related to user interface and business logic and database these are the three so wherever you go these, these these technical aspects related to these three plus obviously reporting that also comes into database only interaction with database and related to user interface that we are going to work on here additionally what will be there in the pega one more component process every time we will be uh, just handling everything with process and all now coming to you apis means okay i will talk about those that will also comes into business logic only i'll talk about it i'm talking about only only the layers of the application development okay that is ui business logic and database reporting is again comes under database concept only and here the user interface when you are learning so we are going to deal with some specific rules okay you don't you don't need to write anything now okay and here you go these are the rules first one controls second one section flow action comes under process category but i treat it as a ui rule only they moved it to process flow action harness 
portal and navigation rules menu items okay and uh, like a tabular format a table format that, that and all will be covered no issues these are high level the user interface rules that we are going to work on when we are going to work on any of the user interface rules we will not cover entire user interface from beginning to next 20 days or 30 days it will not happen like that so today if you are going to discuss user interface rule maybe one or two out of eight what we have done today we will be working on this maybe in future sometime later first time i will be teaching i'll be giving you practical second time i am not going to tell you about the technicals of the same rule section if i have explained today and uh, like after 15 days if i am using section i am creating i do not explain again about the se section technicals okay i'll tell you how to practically create once and second time i will give you the navigations directly and first time it will be slow okay next time it will be little fast obviously it should happen like that and similarly all other user interface rules other than this there may be other rules also and coming to business logic part in the business logic mainly data transforms it is business logic only but up to some extent and activities like this are available and validations and declarative processing okay this is declarative processing but here also we can go ahead with declarative rules i'll tell you here okay business logic high level these are the things okay and transaction model how would you design transaction model i already if you have attended demo class day one you should know about this you should have an answer for this how to design a transaction model how to doesn't mean that pro, uh, the navigations and steps what is the component that we use in order to design the transaction model that's what my question you told already what is that flow diagram okay flow or process or flow chart or anything you say other than this there is one more thing called case type okay we'll be discussing about that and we'll be practically doing first we'll see the way of flows and later we go to case type and in the user interface part okay control section flow action and all and now business logic data transform activities validations and declarative processing so in the declarative processing part we have expressions and constraint okay index trigger on change and data pages that is also declarative processing okay just a high level i am giving you all this will be there in your documents okay i mean like i mean course content which i have shared you we will share it once again okay on the email tomorrow and this is about declarative processing rule names but what we do by using declarative processing what we do by using business logic rules and all we'll come across while we are going to work on and moreover apart from this there are some rules which are related to decision making in the flow or business logic to return some values okay so these are called decision rules decision rules that is decision table tree fork map value like this we have some rules just by rule name i'm just talking about and these are related to your application development so far what i have written here on the notepad related to your application if i am going to work on an application development i will be creating these rules other than this there are so many i'll come across in between in between we need to even think about the concepts related to development okay suppose if you are a developer in an organization you are not only going to deal with your programming language for your information whatever that you are working on language or tool you also deal with so many other tools which are related to deployments which are related to versioning like this there are so many other things okay let's talk about versioning concept i'm not going to tell about concept so you'll be in between somewhere you'll be dealing with versioning but you don't know what is versioning as of now okay and parallel development and its prevention as well as development okay and deployment tools so like this you will be learning these are related to the environment of pega usually to do this you need separate tools while you are working with other programming languages but pega has everything integrated within the same environment right so in between somewhere here and there you will be learning but and also debugging process what is that debugging process 
UI debugging, business logic debugging, and flow debugging. Like this, different debugging are there. Log files, tracer, user in, uh, UI inspector that is called live UI. Like this, live UI, tracer, and what else? I told live UI tracer. Where am I? Okay, like this, you will be learning some of the debugging tools. See, these concepts are related to PRPC environment. Once we learn these concepts, we will be applying this every day. Without learning these debugging tools or versioning deployment tools, or not deployment, uh, debugging tools and preventing parallel development versioning mechanism, you will not even work in, and without these, you will not be even working in enterprise version one day, not even one day. So every day when you are working on your project, definitely you will be using all of this. Okay. The moment we start learning this, from that moment, we are going to work on these things going forward. Every day we will come across. Okay. That is a repetitive. Okay. And coming to the other things. So we might be looking at, we are going to work on some of the things related to background processing. Background processing. Background processing without manual interaction. Without manual interaction. See for this, what are the different rules that are available? Just for your information, agents, job scheduler, like advanced agent and standard agent. Okay, I'll write down otherwise advanced standard like this and job scheduler, queue processor. Okay, see job agents is the concept which has been deprecated starting from pega version 8 means before 8 these were these are the rules which we used to create to implement background processing standard advanced agent queue processor and job scheduler are the alternates for agents starting from pega 8 if i have given you a requirement to create some background processing you need to create either job scheduler or queue processor before pega 8 you will be dealing with agents then what if you are going to learn here on 8.6 version and you are going to work on 7.8 version in your enterprise application. You need to know about agents, right? Okay, that's why we will be learning everything. If you are going to be put into a project on older version or the latest version, you will be able to work on. See, a project that has been developed using 7.6 version may get upgraded to 8 version. Then what about the previous development? Agents will be there even if it is 8 version. The environment that you are going to work on 8 but you already you still have agents because this is upgrade upgraded application if a new requirement is been given you have to create job schedule and queue processor existing functionality if you want to modify you need to deal with agents but environment is latest environment so learning here you will be able to work on older versions of pega and the current versions of pega probably in future also you'll be able to cope up and work that's how the training is going to be taken Make sense, everyone clear? Online resources. Respond on chatting window saying yes or maybe any question you can ask me. Don't ask me any specific topic, okay? All the topics, I'm just getting it from my mind. Here and there, I'll mention the topic. If Even if I do not mention here, go and check in the this document, course content topic, okay? And moreover, apart from this, that's what I'm saying. Don't mention any topic names that will be available jira rally that and all is part of this one okay tool tool itself and next one we are going to work on assignments what is general general thinking general ideology what do you think of an assignment what is an assignment assignment means a particular task one task so a task will be assigned to someone right so there is a task homework Homework will be assigned to you. Okay. So a task will be assigned to someone. See, if you're making, if you're creating a business transaction model, in a business transaction model, there are n number of steps. Imagine you are working on a loan processing for a blank. You're designing the transaction model. There are n number of steps to be taken care. Document collection and document verification. And after that, um, further approvals and money transfer. All of these tasks will be done by only one team or one person or different teams of different persons. 
<laughs> means when your transaction different teams and different persons right when your transaction is initiated it has to go through different people and different departments right the same we can achieve using any programming language and even in pega also how to design this type of things means this is the concept we call it as routing this is the concept we call it as routing you take a ta you a task is created and assigned to someone you create a leave request who will approve it manager will approve means the task you created should go to your manager or not that is called routing manager will take action accordingly that is the concept of routing you are going to learn and suppose i have i have a, i have given you an assignment so while giving the assignment definitely i am going to tell you you should finish this in one day you should finish this in five days there should be a time interval of deadline that should be defined at the time of creating the task within the time interval the task should be completed otherwise it gets escalated so this type of defining the time intervals to complete the task and defining the escalations if in case the task has not been finished can be done by using the rules called service level agreement so that is one more concept we are going to work on so far makes sense that is basic high level see pega provides a transaction model where it displays n number of forms user interface screen 1 screen 2 screen 3 when you finish screen 1 and the transaction move to next level screen 2 there is no way you can come back to screen 1 after finishing it is not possible by default so that is one type of designing a process finish one screen you cannot come back there is another type of designing a transaction model for the screens where we can have navigation between the screens implemented forward and backward direction screen one to screen four four to one modify again and forward go forward so after you completing one screen you should not come back at all this restrictional design is also there default one is the restriction one this is called flow types that is process flow screen flow subflow and their differences and usage purpose everything we will be learning okay make sense everyone and now there are some situations where we need parallel processing means suppose uh, imagine there is a transaction that has been initiated and it has been assigned to two different teams the transaction is an employee onboarding transaction okay there are two tasks created at a time one task is medical test assigned to user and assigned to hospital okay user has to go to the respective hospital get the test done and upload the document at the same time address verification task is created assigned to team 2 now is there any dependency between these two tasks now we need a parallel processing right if you if you go and achieve parallel processing uh, within less span of time our transaction will get completed when in case you need parallel processing okay you need to have the parallel processing design being implemented for that we have case types with covers concept that is called parent and child case relation okay parent and child case structure this will be discussed and worked on and within the flow types there are some flow shapes like calling flow from another flow sub flow split join split for each like this there are different flow shapes which we are going to come across and work with okay these are the other things now and the other one is like see there may be business requirements while you are working with your application let me tell you an example see my application my business application is a banking application okay while i am processing the loan transactions for example i will be receiving the documents from the customer what is his pan card i mean like the id card related documents and taxation information documents and all customers will submit there may be a chance customers will fabricate the documents and submit to us we want to validate these documents for the genuinity and the numbers that are there in the document how would i know that i have to go to income tax department taking this person's id number i should be an authorized person to talk to them and get the information i'll be paying them as a bank 
and they have to submit the data that is olden days you have to manually do it but now it is digital process like in the application you enter an id pan card id or the taxation id and click on validate and get details a button click now this bank application will communicate with income tax application sends the request of id number receives a response of id number plus all the details once the details are retrieved we will match against the details submitted by the customer any discrepancy found reject no discrepancy everything looks good meeting the criteria proceed forward so like this one application may have to talk to other application so two applications can be communicated with each other universal concept this is by using the concept of web services by using the concept of web services so we are going to deal with web services see here this is my google chrome application which is installed on my own machine my google chrome application is communicating with google server a request has been sent from my google chrome application to talk to google server google server has responded again i am sending one more request from my google chrome application to google server google server has received the request sent a response details and that are being displayed in my application this is the concept of web services when you are dealing with web services you will be dealing with protocols you will be dealing with different protocols hold on now i communicated with google server using a protocol of http hypertext to transfer protocol like this there are other protocols available soap simple object access protocol and other than this rest representational state transfer which is called as an architecture not a protocol an extension of http that is okay we will be dealing with soap and rest see in this case request format is data structure any data structure maybe xml or html or anything okay here i sent a request to google server in a text format but it will be converted into html and html will be sent there then it will be decrypted to test and then again converted to html and send okay don't bother about that conversion so press sometimes a request may be filed let me tell you an example suppose there is a uh, like atm in an atm there is a deposit machine i can deposit a check in the check using the deposit machine i have a bank check i go and deposit in the machine what happens now high level i am not exactly sure what happens really but high level up to my imagination so once you are going to place the check inside the machine that i am not talking about a drop box i am talking about processing the check directly through the atm machine once you place the check in the respect to input device check will be scanned front and back okay the machine related software will have a capability of doing a preliminary check on reading the data from that leaf whatever the leaf that you are going to insert check leaf okay preliminary check is completed everything is successful you would have written some text content and everything right it, it the, this machine is going to take a scan copy of that okay now scan copy will be in some file extension format this scan copy will not be processed by the same application that is there on the machine now there is a feature of ftp file transfer protocol this scan copy will be transferred from this atm application server to actual business processing server which is going to process the checks for check processing we need one application right this application sends the file and places it in the hard disk place some hard disk place this file will be placed now that hard disk folder path for the files whenever a file lands there the actual check processing application will pick the file open the file read the content of the file do process it get the validations done approvals done and processing is going to get completed accordingly this type of in this type of request the input data that the file is, that the system is going to process is a file document that may be a jpg file that may be a csv file that may be an excel file that may be html file that may be text to file any file depends on your business so now in concept of web services the data structure may not be always something strings like that it may be files also we will be dealing with and another format is email email is also a file right email in inbox folder inside that each message you have a file you open the file each message and you read it so email integrations and while you are working with business, business application development 
you might be getting the business requirements where you, your application have to interact with a email server and send out the emails for example when you purchase a product in amazon application at the end of the product purchase you will be receiving one email okay this is your purchase order id this is the product you have purchased and these are the invoice details and all so amazon application doesn't have capability sent to send email there should be an email server amazon application is going to interact with the mailing server email server i'm sorry email server the data from amazon application will be transferred to email server email server what is the data what is the body of the message subject of the message what is the sender email password of the sender email what is the host name and what is the recipient email address these details if you pass obviously you can if you are sending an email what are the details you need to log into email email server you need to know about the url of the server right that is what host name and you need to have the user id and password and after that compose mail subject line to cc bcc subject line body that's it right these are the parameters we have to frame and send it to email server email server is going to send an email to the respective recipient this type of email integration requirements we are going to deal with that is again outbound email integration and as well as inbound email integration outbound there will be some of the business requirements customers are going to request for the transaction processing through emails okay you send an email notification to customer saying that in response please send us back complete documents once we receive our documents we will process it so throughout the country there will be millions of documents that may be processed every day it is not possible to read each email manually and process it we need to design a system the system will look up a email server inbox folder whenever a new email is being received it has to read the content of the email like subject body who has sent it and the attachments everything and process it accordingly as per the business need that is called as inbound email integration okay so this type of everything that you see in your day to day life okay after you are going to uh, uh, withdraw money from atm or deposit money you will be receiving an sms right that is your application is integrated with an sms server okay and an application will send the parameters related to message and to phone number from phone number all that sms server will, is going to send an sms to the respective this type of business needs that we come across every day in our day to day life that we see we access we will be developing here using any technology not only pega high level these are the different things we are going to work on other than this there are so many other topics that are there in the document just high level everyone clear makes makes sense all of you online see at any point of time while we are learning any topic it's not that simply you listen to me blindly okay you try to um, expand your visionary such that you wanted to experience to see the same in the day to day life in any application not only same application every day same application may not have all different features been implemented okay make sense so that is what you try to implement or design by yourself no issues okay so i wanted to set up a calendar reminder that is also one programming language only right okay so you can set your calendar reminder just a few days back i had come across with one of the profile in linkedin he is a fresher he implemented integrating pega prpc with telegram he has told that i usually do not remember my friends uh, birthdays and all so i want a reminder to be set i can set it directly in the application but i wanted to send the reminders from pega to telegram so on that day as long as the prpc server is running it will send out a notification message to telegram on the specific day at night midnight, midnight 12 o'clock the notification will be pop up so this type of everything that you need in your day to day life try to think about it how to implement it this way if you are going to start thinking about the things then your learning will be definitely successful and you are going to be a successful developer more than a developer you become a researcher then you are going to be the number one in the development world okay who will be paid highest salaries in development is it a regular support people or developers or research and developers who are going to be paid 
but you know one thing for research and developer there is no target for you if you are a if you are a support person l1 l2 production support you have a target of eight hours four hours two hours if you are a developer you have a target of one day or two days or five days or seven days but if you are an r d developer there is no target okay there will be targets but targets are maybe one year also six months also there will be targets but there is no pressure but they come up with good results okay so that's what you need to focus on being an r d developer okay for that you need an enhanced thinking okay that you are going to get only when you look at the world around you okay no one should be giving you any projects no one uh, that who is working in it industry should be uh, needed to help you you don't need anyone you yourself have all and all facilities and all and all artifacts around you okay functionalities look at a functionality try try to imagine so about the subject what you have learned today similar functionalities anywhere not similar exactly using this core concepts any functionalities that i can come across and develop this is how you need to think about okay so i have i have told you about creating one user interface basic level so this user interface you can design net banking application you take while doing a funds transfer from account to account and what is the amount that you wanted to transfer and these details you have some fields right design that form no one is required to give you any business requirements further for the practice additional practice and all and phone pay also same thing you design a screen to have some text input enter this and click on a button just you are not integrating with other systems at least the message which you have clicked on enter display in the same screen okay that is very enough that integration we can think about later in the web services concept understand so from one account to another account if you're sending money by using any money money transfer applications that is the concept of integrations okay so your phone pay application is going to communicate and talk to your bank application bank application will talk to recipient bank application and response will come from recipient bank application to your bank application to phone pay application like these integrations are there so everything that you come across in your day to day life is what is there you develop your by using your programming languages or tools that's it nothing new so many people they think like programming is something magic it is not magic everything that you do in your day to day life you develop using programming so i want every one of you to do not too much research just basic applications that you come across in your day to day life start looking at those application functionalities with respect to ui ui perspective business logic perspective database perspective all these three perspectives whatever the subject line that we are going to complete that you try to take it from other applications and implement it okay so if i teach you any subject related to uh, the concept of capturing the data in a form and storing the data into a table now you register on amazon right facebook application amazon application you are going to register by providing your data they will store the data take that registration form and implement the same here also okay that means you are working in real time application as it is so apart from this the business logic part we are going to deal with here a business logic part let me go ahead the business logic part so we are going to learn about activities and even reports also will come under reporting category as well. okay leave it data pages will come under even the business logic and some of the other things in the activities we are going to learn almost all different methods there is no need of writing the coding and all here okay so we're going to work on activities and all and data pages also with respect to activities and reports and all in the reporting feature we are going to work on report definition rule and while we are discussing about any of these topics for example data pages i will tell you any changes that are being made in the new version comparison with old version also data pages were called as declare pages in the old versions okay data pages whenever you are going to deal with in old old versions you see the page name as declare page so you will have a clear idea of what it was before and what it is today another live example let me tell you see if i am clicking on this you have admin studio this this is admin studio you are aware of you are going to access it in future sessions right but what about this one in the old version that is called a system management application then how do you see that system management application i have a video available on my youtube channel you wanted to see how this 
admin studio appears in the older versions of pega okay then you go to my youtube channel i'll re recommend you that time you watch that video you will come to know how system management application looks like with similar features what are there in the admin studio today so you need to have the ha idea about old version as well as new version so that's how you gain the knowledge of like experience to have on the old as well as new versions of pega okay and these are the different things and in the business logic we are going to deal with activities of so many different methods and see pega has an integrated uh, in communication between its rule base and prpc system pega rules process commander is there right it has a rule base what is rule base where the business rules gets stored pega rules get stored integrated it is already integrated means you don't need to write queries and all there will be business needs in your business applications where your application may have to interact with third party database and get the data here and there save the data retrieve the data update the data like that what about interacting with third third party databases okay for that you will be learning about database integration of using rdb methods okay i'll be teaching that okay there also you don't write any queries usually but we'll learn the way of writing query also okay so rdb methods and database integrations also you'll be learning and the application data whatever that you are going to submit did i mention this or not validations i mentioned it the data that you submit should be validated and all in the activities data transforms we will be writing the business logic related and methods also we are going to use so high level these are the concepts that we are going to look at but each and every topic that we are going to come across here you will be definitely seeing that in your day to day life in n number of different applications after we complete our practical here you take any application that you are accessing on that day and once you see that functionality you need to just uh, get the match between what you have done today i mean like match in the sense matching okay you're going to match it with what we have done in today's session and try to implement the same what you are seeing in your uh, other access accessing application and all that's the way you have to focus and learn make sense everyone clear those who have full day time you have to utilize it properly okay those who have one hour two hours apart from the session one and a half hour one hour like that you properly utilize it you need to spend your time for your job the training program your family and everything other personal needs and this one those who are unemployed definitely you should have minimum of six to seven years maximum you try to utilize okay don't sleep in the afternoon time that is not good any questions any doubts anyone has any questions any doubts the course completion is three months so after three months is there opportunities for freshers as long as this world exists there will be opportunities for freshers okay as long as software is there there will be opportunity for freshers as long as pega is there in the market opportunities for freshers will be there as long as java is there in the market pega will be there in the market even java may go away they may upgrade the system with python or maybe any other programming language pega will be there forever don't worry your job opportunities will be there forever don't worry but you need to think about being skillful you are skillful opportunities will come to your feet okay and what is the start date of the course you can consider the start date of course is going to be like monday today is tuesday right friday 11th of march three days demo you leave it okay of course we started up but 11th and 14th two sessions are been done and today i have taken the roadmap to give you an idea about what we are going to do and how you need to start understanding about the things or look at the things okay 11th march is the start date for the sessions and demo is done and doubts and queries web services integrations also don't involve any coding in pega see anything you are doing doesn't involve coding for your information in pega even if you are an expert in coding and you write it will not be approved the idea behind designing prpc system is no coding okay a everything doesn't have coding here and regarding your certifications i'll tell you don't ask me those questions i have sent you a fact document 
if you have missed first i mean like day two and day three you call me personally for this type of questions i am asking you coming back to you just to check with you you understand the road map and you understand how you need to think about the technology and how you need to get the requirements from the applications that you are regularly accessing in your day to day life that's what my point here are you clear about this any questions from this anyone so oh, i have a question sir uh, so basically development of application it you might find it lame because i'm very new to this technology and all of that so uh, the process of developing an application involves three steps is that what you meant is it user interface business intelligence and then databases yes. okay yes, it's, yes. it just involves three steps and it has sub category right every business application will have these three any technology combination of these three technologies is either windows or desktop applications everywhere okay. wherever you go this there and using these three there are so many different types of implementations for that we have all these rules someone is asking this question you call me on this number okay i have already answered this type of questions note down this number call me after the session is completed i will be able to respond to you we already answered this type of questions first two days itself i don't want to spend time on that now okay and everyone clear with the road map and what are we going to learn and all the order may not be same order may be different but the concept concepts that we are going to work on okay so you can take amazon application you can take your net banking application look at different different functional features try to implement that whenever you come across with some functionality if you ask me how can i implement if it is a future topic i'll tell you future topic it is a future topic you can wait till the future topic i will be giving another number you will be receiving a notification in the whatsapp group now the time is going to be up i am going to send you link just hold on everyone please hold on all of you whoever is there in whatsapp group take your phone on which you have whatsapp be ready with your phone i am going to give a message now just hold on a minute i am so those who have made the fees payment today morning early or yesterday night if you are not been added you will be getting added be ready with your phone and in the group just now i have messaged one link you need to log into your gmail and here you will be requested to provide the details of your full name your phone number whatsapp number and maybe other few other details like graduation what you have done maybe something like that all our options which technology you have opted for classroom mode or online mode it will not take more than 2 minutes from now right away you just open the form and all of you fill i will be sending email notifications creating an email group today itself and also i will be sharing a new meeting link to all of you whoever is there in the group today by 4 pm in the evening you will be receiving that in the group other resources who are not there in the group you will not be able to connect to the session from tomorrow onwards because you did not make the fees payments and offline not allowed without making the payment and fill the form now when you give the email id listen to me one more thing i want your gmail id don't give outlook or yahoo you will get some permission issues give your gmail id after you enter gmail id stop there one second and see the mail id spelling everything is correct or not at the rate gmail.com properly dot is there gmail is there com is there everything you cross verify once or twice for the email id and then finally submit okay don't give wrong email id don't put extra efforts for us in this okay in next to one hour i will be creating an email group with all these email ids and i will be sending out all the documents and other details which i have sent from day 1 to till today everything i will be sending you on your email by afternoon and other resources whoever wish to continue you have to complete your fees payment before 4 pm ist today and i will be sharing the new link to the resources who are there in the group this link will not work from tomorrow maybe for some people it might be today is the first class but we already given enough time for everyone to attend 3 to 4 day sessions okay that will be considered even for you also 
because we will be providing you backup you have to just act accordingly okay no problem there will be opportunities for peg for freshers also on pega no issues first you become skillful opportunity definitely will be there i have messaged this link in the whatsapp group once you are done just let me know never share that link here in the good meeting just on your phone click on the link and fill the form don't share anywhere else yeah if you have filled that's okay and the number of resources that are there in the group and the number of entries in the form should be matching see don't think like i will do it after some time do it right away i want to do it after half an hour or after one hour no if you are there in the group it should be done right away after you done just reply in the go to meeting saying done even if this is a first session for you you talk to my team on our office number and get the process uh, known from them and follow the process please we will be adding you only when your fees payment is done okay otherwise you will not be added maybe if you have done today morning or yesterday eve night time then it will take time we will add it after some time you will be getting added don't worry after you are been added you just fill the form i'll make this link available in the group description as well the moment you get added into group today you go to the group description there will be a link over the form you can fill those resources who are ready to make the fees payment or already there you do it right away everyone should be doing this i will wait for three more minutes for this to get completed and after that if you have filled the form you can wind up 